There are few ancient creatures as controversial as the Tali monster, a bowling pin-sized oddity with eyes like a hammerhead that lived about 307 million years ago. Now after decades of studies, each with a different take on how to define the weird aquatic creature, the Tali monster has been decoded. It's a vertebrate, meaning it had a backbone, a new study finds. Scientists analyzed the chemical residues left on fossilized remains of the Tali monster and compared them with the chemical remnants on other vertebrates and invertebrate fossils from the monster's ancient home in what is now Mazon Creek in northeastern Illinois, said study lead researcher Victoria McCoy, a visiting assistant professor of geosciences at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. McCoy and her colleagues took a chemical approach rather than looking at the Tali monster's fossilized anatomy. Ever since amateur fossil collector Francis Tarley discovered the monster's remains in 1958, researchers looking at the anatomy have interpreted the beast to be all kinds of things, including a vertebrate, an invertebrate, a shellless snail, a type of worm, a jawless fish, and an arthropod, or a member of a group that includes insects, spiders, and lobsters. To determine whether the Tully monster was a vertebrate or invertebrate, the team decided to see if its fossils held the remnants of chitin, a long string of sugar molecules which make up the harder, crunchy tissues in the exoskeletons and teeth of invertebrates, or the remnants of proteins that make up the keratin and collagen found in vertebrates, McCoy said. The scientists used in situ Raman microspectroscopy, which is a non-destructive method, meaning it doesn't harm the fossil, that involves shooting a laser at the specimen. The laser's energy causes the different chemical bonds within the specimen to vibrate, each at their own unique rate. By graphing these rates, scientists can determine what kinds of compounds are present. It's extremely difficult to identify one compound, McCoy said, but as long as you know what classes of compounds make up those in your sample, that's enough to distinguish vertebrates from invertebrates. The team looked at 32 different spots on 20 fossils, including 3 Tali monster specimens and 17 other ancient animals. The results revealed that Tali had a backbone, she said. The Tali monsters, all of its tissues that we analyzed, were made up of proteins and none of them were made up of chitin, McCoy said. So that is really strong evidence that the Tali monster was in fact a vertebrate. It would have been helpful if the analysis had included more specimens, both of Tali monsters and other equally ancient animals from Mazon Creek, said Steven Jasinski, the paleontologist at the State Museum of Pennsylvania. I think more study will have to go into confer or refute their results, said Jasinski, who was not involved in the current study. But I definitely think it's a step forward seeing the Tali monster might be a really weird abnormal vertebrate. Thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.